During the wet season, we see tropical waves passing by. Some of those tropical waves tend to bring those downpours, and today we saw just that. Some street flooding across parts of uh, Trinidad, and we do have some video footage for you. In fact, uh, all of this uh, street flooding, which occurred in parts of southern Trinidad around uh, San Fernando, you can see here all across uh, the roads in the parts of southern Trinidad. We've been seeing uh, some of that uh, water, as you can see here, getting as high as the wheels of those vehicles. And obviously, they keep on telling you that you should be take precautions whilst you're driving or not to drive in any of these uh, waters. But obviously, uh, you can see here the trucks were going through. But in terms of the rainfall, today we just uh, now pushed up to 124 millimeters. 250 is usually the benchmark for July. So we're just about halfway there and we have half the month left to run. So hopefully we should see this number rise. But it seems as though the forecast for all of the showers that we have seen today will be likely to push them towards the north, more so around the Barbados, St. Vincent and Grenada overnight. So there will still be a few showers lingering, especially across parts of a Tobago tonight and in the first part of your morning. And then as you go through the afternoon, in Tobago, you're looking for just sporadic showers and a possibility of a shower that could turn a thundery along that northern coast. For Trinidad, along the north coast of Trinidad, looking for Blanche Shares and Diego Martin to still see a few showers erupting from time to time overnight into the first part of your morning. But generally, for central and southern areas, you'll be on the southern side of this activity, so just occasional showers expected, and there will be a low chance of a thunder shower around the San Fernando Point Fortin and Pinal as you go through Thursday afternoon so all the while this occasional shower is expected tomorrow what does this mean for the temperatures we'll still keeping conditions warm at night 24 degrees celsius possibly a humid at 31 likely in trinidad on thursday and then on friday we still see a bit more activity coming through that's on the back end of the tropical wave and then conditions draw out quite nicely on saturday and sunday in fact trinidad will see the best of the sunshine for the weekend now, what does this mean for those heading offshore? Notice the winds will shift to the east-southeast at 10 knots, still quite gentle for the most part, and a slight to moderate chop one meter through the Caribbean, closer to 1.5 meters out in the Atlantic, and short east-northeast of these swells will prevail through Thursday. Now, the rest of the Caribbean, basically, is still quite uh, fair, just occasional clouds and some Saharan dust across the Great Antilles for the Dominican Republic, a touch breezy for Jamaica, a few brief showers for Havana. That tropical wave will likely bring some showers around the Dominica into Barbados, St. Vincent and Grenada through Thursday. The possibility of a shower that could turn thundery as well. Uh, we will be seeing just some brief showers for Georgetown as they too, alongside Trinidad, will be on the southern side of this activity. So for Thursday, looking for sporadic showers, this is a stray thunderstorm, still feeling quite humid at times at 31 degrees Celsius. So that's the weather and that's it from me.